much for joining us for this Friday edition of WCPO 9 News. I'm Craig McKee. And I'm Kristen Hartman. For the first time, we are hearing from the Warren County man who escaped days of torture by breaking into an ambulance next door. I have wondered if I will ever really be able to forgive the people who hurt me. It's a case that stunned Clear Creek Township. WCPO 9 News reporter Courtney Francisco was there as a judge sentenced a father and daughter pair to prison for the crime. This was initially a case of kidnapping and felonious assault, but that kidnapping charge was dropped as part of the plea deal. The father and daughter agree to plead guilty. Kidnapping charge goes away. Judge gives them six to nine years in prison. Father and daughter will not lose the shackles anytime soon. I have wondered if I will ever really be able to forgive the people who hurt me. Lindsay and Brian Parker listened to an advocate read a letter from their victim. He did not even want them to see him, his mother said. But I still can't sleep through the night, nor can I leave the house without a feeling of dread overcoming me. We are not sharing the 22-year-old's name for his privacy. Prosecutors say he used to date Lindsay. In October, investigators say she lured him to a home in Clear Creek Township. There, she, her father Brian Parker, and a friend named Christopher Edwards locked him in a dog cage, terrorized and assaulted him for three to four days. He escaped in an empty ambulance next door. No, Your Honor. The father-daughter pair had no response before the judge decided to send them to prison for up to nine years. No, sir. They changed their plea to guilty this month to get a better deal with the prosecutor's office. Edwards has not taken a plea deal. In December, he told me from jail he's ready for questioning. You know, oh, well, this guy's it. This guy's guilty. Da -da -da -da. F that. Tell him to come back here and talk to me and find out the real truth about the shit. What is certainly real? The week the man spent in intensive care for his injuries and the month he received treatment in a psychiatric unit. I share with you today my prayer to help me find the strength to forgive. Dear merciful Lord. And he says forgiveness won't come easy. The third suspect, Christopher Edwards, is expected back in court for a pretrial hearing in May, and then his jury trial is set for June 1st. Reporting in Warren County, Courtney Francisco, WCPO 9 News.